debugging, rubber ducks, what does a bath toy have to do with your code? Well, let's get into it and find out. There are two types of people in the world. People who hate debugging and liars. Ain't that the truth. It's no fun to see your code not work, especially after hours of trying to find the problem. Yeah, there you go. Um, I'm not sure why this color's not working. If you find yourself stuck after Googling and quadruple checking your code, that's when a lot of devs find they use the rubber duck method. The term came from the book The Pragmatic Programmer by authors Andy Hunt and David Thomas. No, not the Wendy's guy, this guy. And it has to do with what David saw back in his college days. Dave recounts about how back when he was in college, one of the talented research assistants, Greg, used to walk around with the rubber duck and put it up on his computer. Greg explained that whenever he hit a dead end or a problem with his code, he would explain it to his little yellow friend, and more often than not, he would suddenly solve the problem. The trick, as I go on to explain it, is to go through the code and explain it line by line so that the duck could understand what was going on and why. Having to go over the code in that way seemed to make the problems leap off the screen and announce themselves. And so from that book, thousands of developers went out and got themselves a rubber ducky. But does it really work? Surprisingly, you may have already tried using debugging using this method. At its core, what you're trying to do is engage your brain in a different way to look at the code from a slightly different perspective. When you're writing, you're all up in the code, and it may not be apparent that you're making some incorrect assumptions or decisions that are causing the problems. But as soon as you have to explain what you're trying to do to someone else, you have to step back to provide context in such a way that it oftentimes becomes clear what you have to do. It's useful, and probably why Tom Hanks was so sad to lose his volleyball on Castaway. Wilson, no, don't go. How else will I figure out why the link colors are white even though I've set... Oh, oh, I think I've got it. Never mind. thanks, Wilson. So yeah, even though it's called the rubber duck method, you can really use anything. A cat, a stapler, an unsuspecting family member, any one or anything you'd feel comfortable explaining the problem to so you can get some perspective. And the best part is that the other thing or person doesn't have to know coding. Just the act of having your brain look over the stuff yourself can oftentimes be enough to get you to see things correctly. Personally, I found it's really helpful to write it out in a journal. Although more recently, I prefer to ambush my husband. That's right, I'm the rubber ducky. So did you know about this before? What's the weirdest item you've ever used to rubber duck debug? Let me know down in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching and keep on coding.